nearly ten past one. We've been on the air for three hours now. Uh, the election far too close to call. And Labour, as expected, has also held on in Durham North, but again with another big swing to the Tories of 8.9% this time. Well, it's the first win tonight for Tories. It gets the ball rolling as they steal the seat at Kingswood from Labour. It's a swing of 9.4%. It's 40... The mood continues to be defiant in the Lib Dem camp, with Lib Dem peer Shirley Williams telling BBC Radio 4 that exit polls indicating that her party would only win 61 seats were very shaky indeed, predicting that... Just in, uh, in Northern Ireland, Sinn Féin has won in Tyrone West and DUP has, uh, has won Antrim North and Lagan Valley, whilst the Alliance Party have taken Belfast. Now, uh, Jason Curtis, um, our political editor, joining us. It seems um, to be unfounded because it seems to work quite well around the rest of the world, something such as Germany and indeed in... Uh, I think Scotland and Ireland. So and again, there's been people on Facebook who can remember the last time there was a hung parliament saying, we don't want this, you don't really know what it involves. But, uh, I do have an update to the scores so far. In terms of Labour's seats held, we have Innis Mon. We're now going to go to another outside broadcast uh, in Wandsworth. Hi there. Uh, um, do you have any results for us? I do, yes. A big cheer went up for the Conservatives in Wandsworth as um, Justine Greening, the, the uh, Tory candidate, won by over a majority of over 10,000 votes. Um, her votes came in at 21,223. Well, um, it seems that there's more uh, excitement happening here. There's, there's uh, a little more uh, sort of buzz around the votes. Uh, it's getting a little louder here as, as more and more conversations are happening. I actually had a chance to talk to a couple of the uh, the Green Party supporters. So uh, Jocelyn Pemble, the UKIP candidate for Winchester, to my left here. So, Jocelyn, how has your night been thus far? Well, very interesting. And pulling up now is David Cameron's car. Yep, there he is. He's there with his uh, wife, Samantha, at the Count uh, in Whitney, obviously his constituency. He is expected to uh, win. It's uh, regarded as a very safe Tory seat. He's looking quite happy there. Probably expecting a win. Um, there has been some more breaking news uh, in that it's been announced that Gordon Brown is going to seek a coalition with the Liberal Democrats. It's, uh, it has absolutely gone mad over the last couple of minutes. Uh, we have found out that Labour have so far claimed Hamilton West, as, as in they've held Hamilton West, Motherwell... Uh, and, Thanks, and Tom. Dedicated as ever. We'll certainly be popping back to you throughout the course of this evening, I'm sure. Now.